Welcome to the Any Key Video Show, the place and platform for independent creators. I'm your host, Kenny Any Key More. So if you're new to the show and want to know why it's called the Any Key Video Show, it's because you have to be ready in any key at any time in order to keep up with singers. This is a choir music episode. My guest and his choir have a hot new single out. But before we start the show, would you do two things for me? First, go like and subscribe to the Minds of Creativity Facebook page and YouTube channel so you can check out the rest of the content and get alerts when new shows are available. Second, connect with me on social media at coach underscore A-N-Y-K-E-N-Y on Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse, and Instagram. So you can follow the show and keep up with the rest of the stuff I'm doing. All right, my guest is ready. I'm ready. Let's start the show. So before my guest comes on to talk about his new single, let's watch a, a clip of their video to check it out. Here's Kenny Lewis and One Voice featuring Kim Burrell with Call His Name on the Any Key video show. One, two, three. Ah! Listen, you've been worried. You've been worried. Worrying how you gonna make it. All you gotta do is call on Jesus. You've been crying, You've been crying. pushing through your pain. Joining me is Kenny Lewis. He's a singer, songwriter, and producer out of the Chicago area. He also has his own label, Pure Sounds Music Group, that he's re released his choir music on his choir's music rather under. You just saw his new single. Now let's bring him on to talk about it. Kenny, yo yo, what up, man? Welcome to the show. Thanks for being on. How you doing? Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I'm doing good. Doing good. Oh, it's my pleasure. So listen, I'm going to start this off a little different. Okay. Uh, so you're from the Chicago area, right? That's correct. So talk about how big house music is in Chicago. And have you ever thought of incorporating that style into your music? Um, to be honest, that that's above my pay grade. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm not a house head, but it's constant house stuff that happens in Chicago. Uh, pick, big picnics, parades, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Um, so it's not really my my thing, um, but I know it's very big in Chicago. Yeah, and so the reason I ask is because um, I was born in the Bronx, but I grew up in Hillside, New Jersey. Shout out to Hillside. Okay. And then Jersey, and Jersey house music is huge. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Follow me. Yeah, like that's the that's going to get everybody out there. But anyway, I mean, yeah. maybe not real conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so let's talk about let's talk about getting. Oh, here's another tough one. I'm, I'm letting okay. you know up front. Give me your top five Chicago choirs of all time. Chicago choirs. Milton Bronson and Thompson Community Choirs, Choir, mm -hmm. uh, Ricky Dillard, New Generation. Mm -hmm. uh, top, we have Chicago Mass, of course, you got to incorporate them. Mm 
Mm-hmm. It's so many choirs, though, man. Um, right. That's why I said it's a tough one. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's as many. Well, I know there's not as many as it used to be, but there's still a lot of a lot of choirs, man. I can't I can't rate them like that. I can but say my my. my what was that? Four say it again. Ten? You gave me four. Yeah, Kenny Lewis, one voice. There you go. I mean, there, there it is. <laughs> hey, look here. I already told you you got one. We just played the video. I told you you got a yeah. here, so you got a right to put yourself in here. I got you. So listen, tell me what's the backstory on how your choir was formed and how you chose the name One Voice? Well, the choir was formed in 99. So we just made, in January, so we just made 25 years old. Oh, um, oh thank you, man. So um, I had no intention on really starting the choir because I grew up with uh, the whinings, you know, listening to Andre Crouch and the Whitfield Company. Um, so I really had no desire until, you know, God really started giving me these songs to write. And it was choir motivated. Um, so but the name itself, Kenny Lewis and One Voice, my goal was always that you not just hear sopranos, tenors and altos, but through our music, you hear the voice of the Lord, which is also wow. that voice. That voice. That's yeah. great. I love that. Yes, sir. Good stuff. So this is your second collaboration with the great Kim Burrell. Yeah. So tell me how you guys connected. The truth to the matter is we're friends now, and we've been friends about since 2019 now, but Kim and I, we had shared some stages in years past, but we still never knew each other. Kim saw a clip of me on my last project, Undefeated, and hit me in my DM. <laughs> Didn't I do the same know, thing? Say it again. The, I did the same thing to bring you on the audio podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she saw me directing the song Undefeated off my, it was a single off my last project. And uh, she wanted me to come on her Facebook show. I saw so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've been on there now. Well, I came when the single came out. I came back, and then uh, we've done a show together for this single. So um, it it organically happened. She saw me uh, performing on Instagram and hit me in my DM. The power of social media. I say it all the time. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's get into the single. So you you. You know, we talked about this backstage, man. You merged two songs into one with a hymn version and a choir version. Mm-hmm. Like, what was you thinking? Man? How'd you come up with that idea? How'd the song well, come together on the production side? Yeah. Well, I wanted to, that was the idea all the time to put a hymn at the top of the song. So I hit my manager. I'm like, yo, find out if, I can't even remember what the song is now, if it's public domain or who wrote it. Man, about 2.30, 3 o'clock the next morning, I woke up and, man, God just gave it to me. I reached over, grabbed my phone, and I sung it into my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went back to sleep, texted him late on that day, and like, don't worry about it. I got it. So um, Kim hadn't consented to do the song yet. So when I hit him, I'm like, yo, if you say no, I won't be offended because we just did Victory Remix. Mm-hmm. But I got this other vibe that I know will fit perfect for your voice. Woo, woo, woo. And she's like, I'm down. So once she consented to do it, man, I just started kind of tailoring it more to what key I thought was best mm-hmm. um, and showcasing the band, the singers, and some and a lot of her strengths at the same time. Gotcha. So um, talk about that. The, the band because you always so from the last project the undefeated project that aaron lewis man is that is that is this another one of his creations he co-produced with me I on this one known. that dude man yeah yeah so y'all really y'all have really like locked in and become like a serious team we have man it's crazy and both of our names are lewis uh last name but um aaron understands music and vocals vocals is what i um i'm heavy on Mm -hmm. you know background vocals and different vocal techniques and tones but i understand music too so us merging man it's just it's it's been crazy like um 
Uh, and we have all kinds of, you know, musicians and producers in Chicago, but I just felt like um, what I needed, he had, and that we could, uh, you know, possibly make some magic in this music game. Sure. And the chemistry, even from the last project, you had at least, and um, you had at least three, like my three favorites, just right off the top of my head. Uh, what a mighty God with Michael Lampion. My God, shout out Michael Lampion. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Michelle Andrews, the one you said you uh, you said you got on her early. <laughs> you saw her early. Oh, um, uh, um, not Michelle. Um, <laughs> not Tiffany Michelle. Andrews. Tiffany, I'm terrible with you. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. She's yeah, I did. Girl. I got on her so early. I to be in trouble. While she was, yeah, while she was in on uh uh or Sunday best. Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it hadn't even got down to top three, but I knew. So yeah, we got on her pretty early. But for thank sure. you, man. I appreciate that. No, no, man. I, I that's what this show is about. You know, I call it the place and platform for independent creatives. And so mm -hmm. when I see people that are putting out quality music, I just reach out to them and, and bring them on so we can talk about it. That's really just yeah. the piece of the show. My dude. Yeah, yes, sir. So is there uh, another full project on deck for you in the choir? Yeah, man. What you saw, that all happened in June of 2023. We, it was a live recording. So we recorded 10 songs that night. That's just okay. a single from the forthcoming uh, project. And all of the songs have a video, a live video for it. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. yeah. So it'll drop this summer. Okay. And so is there plans in terms of with the video content? Are you going to uh, just basically drop a video, drop a visual with each, which each, each one of the singles that you select? Yeah, each, but each song has on their own video. Uh, and I did that the last project, like the three you just named, they have their own own video from that night because I wanted the people to feel like they were like, like they were there and they could be involved. And what actually took place that night. Okay. But yeah, yeah, okay. each each song will have a video. And do you guys have a YouTube channel or where, yep. where people can check? Kenny Lewis, one voice. Yep. Okay. All right. So listen, man, this was so you know, like I said, you got something serious. When can the uh, so as we get ready to wrap up, when can uh when can people expect the full project to actually be released? Yeah, full project will be released this summer. Um, there isn't a date set 100%, um, but definitely this summer. Uh, we're working on things behind the scenes, like some tours this summer. Uh, okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet face to face, man. On yeah, the East man. Coast. You guys ever in yeah. Jacksonville? You gotta, you gotta hit me up. Yeah, I'm for sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of, lot of things that. The single really took off. I mean, this we just made three weeks, but it really took off things that would take like six to nine months with especially like radio and stuff. You know, it's it was added the first week of, wow. of radio. XM, wow. all they just they just added it, you know. Um, any clips that I put out, the the first clip I put out, just a snippet, it was like a, in three days, two days, it was like over 500,000 views, Amazing. you know, so, so God has really just been blessing us with the single, man. I'm appreciative that people would embrace my music. Uh, I don't like to just put out anything, sure. you know, uh, you know, cause I, I think you can't fool your audience or your core people that support you just throwing them something. So, um, I do my best to keep moving, keep striving, not be content and, uh, keep trying to expand this thing. So, Considering the fact that you got you got you know you're in the choir, you guys have 25 years in, and I'm sure there's been fits and starts and ups and downs. How gratifying is it to have this single take off so fast? Man, it's very gratifying. Um, um I had my first number one on my last project, you know, and that was great. Um, I think that to still be current after 25 years, man, and people still embrace me and embrace my sound, uh, I'm absolutely grateful. But 
Um, this is the first time that a single has rolled out and been this big this fast, you know. So I try to um, really be led. You know, I know it may sound cliche, but I really try to be led by God and not what industry uh, yeah. or people say I should do. You know, put out this kind of music because they think I should put out this or that. You know, how he gives it to me, that's what I'm going to release, man. And I can only be me. I had to learn that. Um later on in my career because i would put out stuff that i thought was hot for the time you know what i mean mm -hmm. but uh i can only be me and i can only be the best me and best version of me that i can be so whenever you hear kenny lewis music it's straight from the heart well i think that's why your music is doing what it's doing now because it's coming from the heart you're seeking god about it and so he's just putting his hand on it and and, and showing you his blessings and favor you know what i mean he has, man, 100%. Yeah, you follow his way, you can't go wrong. Yeah, I believe so, that. So when, um, I know you said there's plans for plans for a tour, um, plans for a full project. Uh, what's next for Pure Sounds Music Group? I know you have the, you know, you got the quiet on it. Is there plans for expansion with that? Absolutely, man. Um, there are some people that I believe in um, that I feel like, People never gave me that opportunity. Um, in the beginning of my career, there's some people that I believe in that um, have exceptional talent. Uh, and I think the world needs to hear them. So I wanna filter them through my label. Um, it's independent, but we have national, national distribution through Symphonic, uh, not to name drop, but a lot of uh, urban people use Symphonic for distribution distribution like Snoop Dogg, uh, yeah. Jermaine Dupree, a lot oh, of them use yeah, yeah. Symphonic. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, you know, they, they it's, a, it's a numbers game, how your numbers look, depend upon how they'll, you know, embrace you. However, yeah. man, um, I don't know how long I'm going to be on the stage still, you know, performing or whatever. So I want to uh, give someone else that opportunity and filter other artists through the label uh, to keep it going. Oh, that sounds good. And I think you hit on an important thing is that, you know, 25 years in, you have to start to to know when it's time to transition. And also, as you transition, you still want to create a, a platform so somebody can like stand on your shoulders. You know what I mean? Yeah. My ultimate goal is to produce like I'm doing, to continue to write. Um, I love, you know, being on the stage and ministering, but you know, I I don't I don't know realistically. You know, uh, there's no time like I'm saying. You know, I'm be off stage sure. tomorrow. No, right, right, right. But life be life, and you know, life and life be life, and bro. So, um, you know, I just want to keep keep putting out and have a plan in place. A lot of times we don't properly plan, and so we fail when things happen because we haven't planned. Uh, For sure. So, so I just want to, you know, plan and keep this gospel thing going. I love gospel music. It's in my bones. I was born into it. And as uh, much as I can uh, add to the world of gospel music, I'll continue to do it in some form. For sure. For sure. Um, I, I think what you said is basically, and uh, it sounds like it's going to be, you know, hit producer Kenny Lewis instead of, you know, on the stage, coming to the stage, King Lewis in one voice. Is that the truth? Yeah, well, that's my hope, man. That's my hope. Um, I try to, especially, the, I mean, people was kind of noticing it from the projects past, but for this one, I said, man, I want people to know, no, you know, hey, I, I can write a little bit. You know, I've oh, been yeah. producing for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, people have now begun to start reaching out for songs and stuff like okay. that, which was the, you know, the overarching goal as well so it's all good good stuff uh so if and here's my last question because i don't want to keep it too long uh hey. if you will you know if an artist or you know of course like i said this show is a is a platform for indies so mm -hmm. if there are artists that were looking to um perhaps be considered for uh to be a part of your label what would they need to do Man, go to our website. I, I'm I'm a music listen to junkie. I love to listen to Damn. music. I love to listen to underground music, stuff that people 
that's not on the radio, stuff that everybody's yeah. not singing. Right. Um, but right. our website is Kenny Lewis One Voice. Um, and any anything you want to learn, know, uh, contact us, you can do it there, Kenny Lewis One Voice.com. Okay, also shout out your social media information. So if people want to connect with you there, they could do that. Yes, sir. Uh, Instagram is Kenny Lewis OV, O as in one, V as in Victor, Kenny Lewis OV. Everything else, Twitter, Facebook, everything else is Kenny Lewis and one voice. All right. So listen, yeah. Kenny, like I said, you got one. Um, I look forward to seeing you out there on the road. Yes, and listen, promoters, Jacksonville. Y'all better make sure there's a tour stop in Jacksonville when <laughs> Kenny Lewis and One Voice is on the road. But uh, uh, uh thank you, so, but this just came to mind, and I promise I'll let you go. Uh, are you? Uh, do you do the uh, uh, IME International? What is it? Inspirational Music Experience. Have you ever done that? I've never done. I've never even heard of it. Okay, that's my guy, uh, Gabe Tyus, and and his team. They put that okay. together during Stellar's uh, during Stellar's weekend. Got so, you. But I hit yeah, him I'm up. Yeah, I'm always at Stellar's every year. Yeah, so maybe um, once I figure that out, because I I usually cover that event for the show. I covered it uh, last year. So once gotcha. I, once he lets me know when that is, then yeah, we could probably link up uh, around that time. No doubt. No doubt. All right. Thank man, you, man. I appreciate it. My pleasure, man. Listen, yes, the sir. music is always going to have a platform on the NQ video show. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. All right. Thanks for being on. No problem. All right. That was Kenny Lewis. Really appreciate him giving us a few minutes of his time. And so that's going to be it for this episode of the Any Key Video Show. Again, I want to thank Kenny Lewis for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, like your brands and services to be advertised and promoted on the show, or if you want your music to be featured on the show, send an email to kanmmusicpub at gmail.com. Again, that's kanmmusicpub at gmail.com. Subscribe to the Minds of Creativity YouTube channel, which is a part of the All Sports, All Plays Network, so you can check out the rest of the content and so you can get the alert when new episodes are available. You can become a patron on my Patreon page. Just go to patreon.com forward slash A-N-Y-K-E-N-Y to get exclusive access to behind the scenes video and free show, I'm sorry, and free show merchandise. Or you can order merchandise at the online store, which is A-N-Y-K-E-N-Y radio show.threadless.com. Again, it's A-N-Y-K-E-N-Y radio show.threadless.com. Shout out to all my patrons who have ordered merchandise. Really appreciate your support. And you can connect to me on social media at coach underscore A-N-Y, K-E-N-Y on Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse, Instagram, and on my Facebook music page, Any Key Music, which is spelled capital A-N-Y, capital K-E, lowercase b, lowercase n, and capital Y. So until next time, remember, be positive on purpose.